Welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today's course is fake news from our Think Again series. And today's specific class is Appeal to Ignorance. Now, again, we're focusing on the logical fallacies that make up fake news. And today's logical fallacy is the appeal to ignorance, which really is exactly the opposite of what the scripture calls us to. The, the scripture calls us, and we see the perfect example again in Acts 17, 11, calls us to, to see if it were so. Uh, the Bereans studied the scriptures to, to see if they were real, to see if they were true, to see if uh, the information was real or fake. And so we want to do the same thing. We want to teach our students to, uh, to study, to see if it's so. And I think by looking at logical fallacies, we can identify if news is real or if indeed it's fake. And so today's logical fallacy is a focus on appeal to ignorance. Now, what's appeal to ignorance? Well, this argument makes the mistake of saying that because a proposition can't be disproved, then it must therefore um, be likely. Uh, an argument that essentially distracts by insisting that that the opponent must disprove the speaker's point, uh, while the speaker avoids giving any evidence uh, for their point. And so, kind of some quick examples of that would be, you know, you you can't prove that God does not exist, right? Um, or another example is, well, even though. No one has ever proved a UFO. Um, that doesn't mean that they're not real, right? Well, but you haven't proved that they are real. And, and then kind of a third way of saying it, or another example is, you can't prove uh, that you're innocent, therefore you're guilty to me. We just, just saw a great example of this with the Rittenhouse um, trial. He was on trial and they brought witnesses and they had video evidence, they had facts, and even though he was, um, you know, acquitted and found innocent, you still had people saying, well, but to me, um, you didn't prove he, he's innocent enough, so he's still guilty to me, right? That's an appeal to, uh, to ignorance. So we want to look at some, again, some examples of how our politicians, uh, how our news media kind of uh, helps perpetuate uh, these appeals to to you know ignorance. An uh, example here that I, I I discovered was, you know these these uh, you know uh, satire. You know, wanted I buy houses. You see these signs all over the place, right? Well, this is talking about climate change, kind of the Green New Deal argument, and it says any climate change catastrophe believers, meaning if you really believe that the world is going to end in ten years then give me your home in 10 years, right? Um, because, you know, we're all going to be gone. Well, we're, we're arguing, or that argument would be from an appeal to ignorance. Well, we don't know what's going to happen in 10 years. And so to assume that the end result of 10 years is going to be that, you know, the climate change is going to destroy the earth uh, really isn't real. It, it, it It's fake. It's, it's, uh, it, it's a way of describing something that's going to happen as though it already has happened, but it hasn't happened. Uh, maybe another example is you'll see conservatives. Conservatives will accuse, uh, you know, liberals or Democrats of having really low expectations of my minorities. And so the idea is, well, because I want to uh, help minorities, what... What I'm really saying, they want to, they want to put words in the mouth. What they're really saying is, I don't think minorities um, can do it on their own. Well, that may or may not be true, but it's still an appeal to to ignorance. You, you just because you can't prove um, that that liberals, you know, um, have high expectations, that doesn't mean that they have low expectations. So we want to be careful about that. We want to make sure that uh, as, we're, as we're looking at uh, the critique of proposals, uh, that we want to be careful that uh, it's not an appeal to ignorance, right? 
which is also uh, an assumption. Some some other ways that there's appeals to ignorance is, you know, you'll see here in the background there's, you know, Hillary Clinton, you know, Tom Arnold, who, you know, is just an actor, um, you know, civil rights uh, icon, you know, and, um, you know, Joe Biden himself. And, and all of them are saying that Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. Well, again, that's a, a you, you can't. You can't prove that he's, you know, an illegitimate president because he is president. But then now they're calling him an illegitimate president, which you can't, you're, 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 it's an argument from, from nowhere. So they get to keep saying this phrase and the fake news allows these people and, and major media sources, you know, CBS News, MSNBC News, uh, TNT. And so, you know, that becomes problematic because... They get to frame and paint the picture that somehow Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. Now, the irony of all ironies is today uh, Joe Biden is president and Donald Trump has challenged the presidency because of some irregularities during the elections. And so now the tables have completely turned. But we're seeing that the news is not handling it the same way, which I, I find fascinating. Um, and then finally, here's another appeal to ignorance. So you'll see the headline here, uh, breaking news this is from CNN, you know, uh, Israel attacks innocent Hamas rockets. This is very clever. Uh, the media is condemning Israel for, you know, a quote unquote unprovoked attack on these innocent Hamas rockets. Now, the media is pinning Israel against Hamas. Israel against Palestinian refugees, trying to say that Israel is wrong for defending itself when it's really, and, and you guys see the, the play on words here, attacking. So what's happened is Hamas has fired the shots first. Israel has a defensive weapon that blocks the missiles to protect its citizens from rockets. And yet you'll see how this is framed. Israel attacks. Israel didn't attack. Hamas attacked. Hamas is not innocent, but you'll see how the framework there is innocent Hamas. And that's really what they, uh, what, what they want you to, uh, to see and hear. Innocent Hamas, innocent Hamas, innocent Hamas. And that's what makes it an appeal to ignorance. Because then somebody just, you know, maybe passively listening or not paying attention you know, walks away with the idea that Israel actually first response attacked the innocent Hamas. And here they, you know, the rockets themselves. So another example of how news can be fake, how news can, you know, appeal to ignorance, appeal to those who aren't completely well-informed or, com or appeal to those who are, are arguing from from points that can't be proven or disproven.